Welcome back. Here we are at my uh, very tidy and neat bench. Not. We're going to do the, one of the most complicated things about brooch making is getting the pin right. I prefer to file down the wire that has to be a snug fit between your hinge and your pin. I file that down so it's a nice snug fit and then I'm going to clip it off leaving the rule of thumb is because we're going to rivet this, spread the ends. As long as you finish with all your soldering, this is the last thing you're going to do before you polish and set your stone. You're going to rivet the pin. Now I've had to adapt the pin a bit. And I want it to be sprung, if you understand me, sprung. So that a simple hook works very nicely. You don't need one of these revolver catches, which fall apart within a few uses. This, because of the fabric underneath, is going to be very difficult to remove, uh, you know, accidentally. So I'm going to cut this leaving about two millimeters that, that, that then I'm going to rivet, spread the end so that that's in and that's done and then I bend over the hook. I have already dressed the end of that so it's user friendly, nicely rounded off. Use the sand pad, the car paintwork sand pads, the fine one, it's brilliant for doing this kind of job. So that's all ready to go and this now I would snip off now it's hard to do some of this stuff in camera because I'm usually jumping from here to the big bench. So look, when I do that, that hook, I'm going to tap it as well. I'm just going to turn that in a hair. See that? You know, that, that, that's how it should, should be. And uh, I sharpen the pins so they will go through anything from silk to cotton lawn uh, wool without any snarling or catching. You know, it should be a joy to put on. It's very important when you're making things that you make them fully functional. They should be a joy to wear. So now I'm going to snip that. Because it's under pressure from the uh, the pin being shut, it won't jump out. There's your little rivet. Now we have to take a walk. Here's my wonderful workspace. There's a fantastic saddle. Yeah, beautiful, lovely bridle. Spanish sunshine. My music centre. And the vice. This is where we're at. Let's see if I can get this on film. Because I'm going to be tapping, I don't want this uh, camera to fall over. Let's see, I think probably actually... Change of tap, let's try this. Surface plate. Right. Toffee hammer. Where art thou? Here. Toffee hammer. Good for riveting.
This is a surface plate turned on end. So you get the use of that. Uh, what you have to do when you rivet, I hope this will film okay, is uh, spread that rivet head. That'll never come out, see? Do the other side. Hope this is still in uh, focus. It's quite hard to get that angle. You need uh, maybe another little stake head to get that. Bit. It's only got us. It's only got to uh, spread a little bit. As long, this is why it's important that your that your little rivet bar is uh, your pin, the rivet pin is is firmly in that uh, hole between in the book hinge because if it was flopping about, uh, your the the pin's just going to double. So there you go. Look, nicely sprung. I'll go on to the, I've bent that in a bit, I'll, I'll, I'll pop that out again. Just use the fibre or the bone. You know, metal's your last resort, so when you're easing things, remember to use a bit of fibre. Or a, a bit of a bone works very nicely, and uh, strengthen that pin up a bit as well. So there you go. You know, that's a nice thing to put on. So now I'm going to finish it off and I'll give you a wee look when it's done. Hope that helps you in your dueling endeavours. I think brooches are... It's a pity that they're not so much worn anymore because they look fabulous with a big scarf or pashmina. And when that's all polished up and uh, stamped, I will get back to you. Okie dokie. Bye bye.